in today's video, I'm going to show you how to diagnose uh, headlight fault on your truck. This will work for a 2002 to 2005 Dodge Ram. Uh, so if you have one or both of your low beam headlights that are not working, you've already changed the bulbs and it's still just flickering or not going on at all, um, most likely it's your front control module. Um, so today I'm going to show you how to diagnose that. Um, please like and subscribe. Alright, so if this is you and you have one or both headlights out and or flickering on low beam, then I'm going to show you today how to diagnose what's wrong with it and fix it. So first off, we're going to start by, uh, I'm assuming you've already changed headlight bulbs and it's still not fixed it. Uh, so we're going to head over to the fuse box here and I'm going to hand the phone off to Max and move forward here. I already cracked them loose. Take your negative battery terminal off here. All right, and on the other side as well, I'm just gonna run over there quickly and pop it off. Okay, so you got your battery disconnected. Now, you got to take your fuse box out. Uh, Phillips down here. It's kind of like a push plug slash screw. That out. Turn it out way here. So these are going to be hooked into your battery box so you're going to slide your whole relay and fuse box this way and then that way so this way then that way and it'll unhook okay so now that we're loose i'm just going to leave it here for a second we're going to start inside the fuse box so you take your pen light or whatever you want to call this thing clamp it on your ground lead battery up again. And then you're going to take in here, you've got uh, fuse 11 and fuse 13. And that's your FCM module uh, power feeds, both 30 amps. You're just going to go in here and you're going to test one and two. See, they both have power. This is showing that you have power going to your front control module, so that's good. We'll pop these fuses back in. Teddy, I'll talk to you in a little bit, okay? Okay, so now that we know that that's good. Okay, so I just need to pull this out. easier to get out since it's unplugged, but we don't want to unplug it for testing purposes. So just put that up at this angle here now, so you can reach this. This is your front control module. Are you still recording, Max? Okay. This is your front control module. This is what I'm suspecting is wrong with mine. Um, or, not what I'm suspecting. This is what I know is wrong with mine, but I'm showing you how to test it anyway. these four screws out. I'm gonna experiment with um, pulling this apart and fixing it, see if it's possible to fix, uh, or just replacing it. It's only like 80 bucks for a used one. All right, so then this just pulls off here. All right, it's kind of like a circuit board with a bunch of pins. Now you got the fuse box lifted up, lifted up here, and you got your front control module removed. You're gonna go uh, with your uh, test light, hook it up to your negative terminal on your battery, and then you're gonna go to these big 
connectors here. Um, my my test light is not pointy enough, so I have to use a screwdriver as well that'll fit in there. Uh, but you're gonna go to uh, number three. Sorry, I need more hands. Yeah, number three. See, it lights up. That's good. So these are your power feed to your front control module. Right, one. Okay, now you're on four. Got power there. Then you skip to six. Power there. Set seven. Power there. So that tells you that uh, your um, your fuse box is sending power to the front control module. So that's a good start. Now we're gonna see uh, if your fuse box has any ground faults or not ground faults, any breaks in the line between it and your headlights. So now we're gonna move this over to your positive side of your battery. And then you're gonna go to pin eight. So pin eight here. And what you're gonna do now, you don't technically need a light, but you need to be able to put power to pin eight. And, and then you'll see, sorry, it's hard to, Hard to film here at the same time as showing you, but you can see my testing my headlight. It, it is in fact coming on there now. So we know that the um, the connection between the fuse box and the headlight is all good all the way there. So then you're going to switch to pin nine, which is this very last one, and then you'll see this this headlight come on. See. So that tells us that basically everything is good uh, with this fuse box, which is good because it's the most expensive part. Um, but it's also very simple. I've had it apart just to uh, clean the connections in it and everything like that. But it's very simple. There's a teeny tiny um, circuit board in it, but it's mostly just long metal rods that kind of go up and down inside it, connecting everything. Um, so it's very unlikely that it's this. The only time I've seen it where this is the problem is when uh, there's been some sort of outside um, contaminant that's gotten into it, like water or bugs. That's the only time I've seen this thing fail. It's usually this bad way. So you can, at this point, you could just go ahead and change this, um, or you can do what I'm going to do, and I'm going to try and pull it apart and fix it. Um, I'll let you know how that goes. I'll include that in this video if I'm able to fix it and uh, keep you posted. So this video is just to show you how to diagnose your front control module. It's not gonna tell you your, you know, if you're having headlight switch issues or if you're having wiring problems over your headlights. Um, I mean, it will, because when you put power to, to eight and nine, then you'll know if, if you're getting power to your headlights or if this box is no good. But essentially this video is just to confirm that this is no good. All right, so I got that front control module out and I pulled it apart and I wasn't able to fix it. So I just changed it. Um, both low beam headlights work great now. And uh, that's basically what you gotta do. A new one is about 300 bucks or you can get a used one for 80 bucks online, I've seen them. And uh, that should fix your problem.